Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And sometimes you just can't trust your kids at daycare, uh, can you? Uh, this woman, this woman uh, dressed up in a scary Halloween mask and was terrifying the children at a daycare and she has now been sentenced. Now, this actually was a story from last year. The sentencing is relatively new and the story is making the rounds now because it's Halloween. This is like one of those WTF type things. It's like, yeah. I, I don't even, I didn't even hear about this until recently. And I'm just like, what the hell? I mean, sorry, as a mom, a teacher, I'm just like, what the hell? Yeah, I just heard about it for the first time, like two or three days ago. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this since we're getting close to Halloween, guys. Jeez. Uh, Before you get to it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, yeah, so this is uh, daycare workers are sentenced to jail after using a Halloween mask to scare children. Now, here I is. I don't the, even know why you would do that. Here's the video. We can watch some of the video. Is it going to make me upset? Uh, it's just. Was weird. it a joke? Or I, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to understand, like, why would they do it? Was it a punishment or was it a I joke? I think it was punishment. Why would you do this? The kids it's, are. It's no. Mm -mm. What are you, you know doing? What? It's just. Get right in his face. And they're screaming like, at him? Why are you doing this? What, what is wrong with you? Oh my God, they're, they're clearly terrified. The kids are crying. This. Mm, now oh she's God, chasing the away. kid around. Oh the my God. They've fallen and gotten hurt. What, what the hell? Okay, you're gonna have to turn this off. Cause I'm just getting angry. I'm just getting really upset. All right. Just turn that off. Um, why the hell would you do this? Why the hell would you do this? Uh, daycare workers are sentenced to jail after using Good. Halloween masks to scare children. I mean, normally I'd say that's a little extreme, but in this case, it, you know, I don't think so. Because it's like, why the fuck would you do this? Three of five Hamilton daycare workers who went viral after scaring children with a Halloween mask have been sentenced to jail well, time. They were clearly taping it and putting it up on the internet, so they aren't very smart, first of all. Is that why they did they do it for social media? I don't clout? know, because it's all, it was viral. Well, someone was clearly taping the whole the whole thing. God. Okay. So this is uh, Sierra McCandless. OC, OC Anna Kilburn, Jennifer Newman, and Cheyenne Shelton, all former employees of Little Blessings Daycare in oh Hamilton, God. appeared in court beginning Friday, this would have been a month or two ago, on charges of child abuse. Uh, Tracy Hudson, another employee, was charged with simple assault and failure to report abuse. Both pleaded no contest to five charges and will serve one year in jail with 12 months of probation. They'll also have to pay fines of over $5,900. You know, it sounds like that's ex excessive until you think about the damage these kids. I mean... I mean, it was it was bad enough they were running poop, blood, and honey in like a fifth grade classroom. But yeah, like, right? these are toddlers. You know, my son still talks about the fact when he was in preschool, the one teacher threatened to call the police. They didn't do what she wanted, and and I'm like, and that still that would still freak that freaked him out like crazy. This is like far worse. Like you're putting on a mask and scaring these kids and terrifying them clearly, and you're running around literally chasing them and screaming at them. God. Why the hell would you do that? So yeah, October of last year. So this is a video. Probably they were probably trying to go viral or something. So a video hit the internet of a masked employee at Little Blessings, going from classroom to classroom, uh, and yelling at the bad children. Children can be seen running, screaming, crying, and hiding as a result of the torture. At this time, no charges have been filed against the owner of the daycare. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, as a mom and a teacher, and I'm looking at this, and I'm just. There, there definitely will be residual issues for this. And oh, like, yeah. I, my son was in preschool, and he still has issues from things that happened. And another, it was a, it, a long story. I'm not gonna go into it, but there was things that were done. Like one time, he the healing went part time, and other kids went full time. So they clearly favored the full time kids. Yeah. And there were things like they would, and it wasn't anywhere near this. And they would like leave him in a room with, in the dark with a teacher while other kids got to go to the library because they didn't tell us he needed a library card so he could go too. And things like that. And then we could, we'd say, what's wrong? Well, he needs to come full time. You need to be paying more. And that's why so I finally got fed up and took him out because I had my I gut kids kept telling me to get him out of there. And that's just one instance. There's a lot of things that happened. Nothing to this level. I can't imagine if it had gone to this level, someone getting punched, bitches <laughs> getting taken out. I'm like, if I saw this, I mean, that bitch is laid out. I'm telling you right now. 
If there's a bike chasing my kids like that, mm-mm. Oh, my God. So I'm like... And then they taped it. Then they taped it. I, I'm telling you, this is probably for, like, TikTok or something. Like, they were hoping that... that well, I mean, it can't be just some footage from, like, a, a security camera because the angles. And they're literally, like, like following yeah. her around. They think and it's they funny. And it was funny and put it on the internet. So do you not... His face is exposed. Look at that one little kid looking to cover his face. I can't yeah. even. I'm, like, going to cry. I'm so mad. Do you... Do you... Not screen your employees. This is like like half your staff. There's like four or five women involved in this. And the thing is, if it was like you thought it was going to be something that'd be funny, and then as soon as you realized it was it was going a different direction, you think you would have stopped then. But instead of going to more rooms and chasing around bad children, taping it, laughing, yucking it up, and putting it on the internet. You trust us with your kids. You drop your kids off at daycare. You think they're going to be okay. You hope they're going to be okay because you have to go to work. And then this is what happens. This is what happens. They torture your children. Then your kids are scared to go. And you don't know why. Or they're telling you something and they're like about someone chasing you and being scary. And you're like thinking they're like, what are you talking about? Thinking about some other kids. And then you go online and find the video. I know our son didn't want the reason he didn't go to preschool. Is there's a kid there he called Bad Jacob. Bad Jacob. Mean, would, mean Jacob. Mean Jacob. And Mean, mean Jacob, Jacob would hit him. And they let him do it because Mean Jacob was a full-time kid. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. like, and I can't imagine that was another kid. This is the one of the adults. And the the problem with the daycare is like the preschool is like the kids can't really verbalize yet what's going right. There's on. gonna you're but you're gonna know because they're gonna cry when they have to go in. Yeah. Um. They're gonna you you're gonna know as a parent something's wrong. Like they're gonna they're gonna react odd to things. They're gonna start being more emotional. They're gonna be scared easier. They, there's most definitely traumatic issues that can arise from this. I just I'm like this is. I can't even. I mean, and I, I just don't have words. It's like, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even. Oh my God, it's what the fuck? Well, they're going to jail. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't this, know why you would think. I don't know why. What kind of person you'd be to sit there and think? I know. <laughs> does this does this have to be like, does this have to be an interview question? Like you, you interview workers. It does now. Daycare and be like, yeah, do you feel like putting a scary mask on and chasing the children around the daycare? Because if you're going to do that, I, I, you're not working here. Sorry. I just, I mean, I, I just don't even. Actually, I'd be like, here's part of your background check. Do you have a TikTok? Yeah, right. Social media. So I can go social check media. It, so I can go check it. Like, yeah. Because it w will you do literally anything for social media clout? Then yeah, you're not getting the job. Because I don't know what you're going to do at my business when we have a reputation for TikTok clout. But right next to it, Louisiana man who looks very proud in his mugshot, arrested for stealing Jones County school bus and parking in friend's property. I mean. Was it like Grand Theft Auto? I don't know. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, that's the world we live in. That is the world, this is the world we live in, guys. Uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting as making the rounds again. I missed it last year. I'm just like completely shocked and appalled that, uh, this sort of thing happened, and so many people were involved. It wasn't just one person. It was That's like what I said. they all sat there. The whole let it staff. Happen. Like I don't. I just I can't. I just don't have any. Like, nobody said, "Hey, this is a really bad idea. We probably shouldn't be torturing these poor children." I mean, I can't even look at those little, those little feet. Just I can't. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up. You said this would be a funny video. It's not funny. Well, it's funny that they're going to jail. Maybe somebody will put a mask. <laughs> Maybe funny. somebody will put a mask on and scare them. He's like, this could be funny. You're just gonna, you're gonna, I'm like, a, no, it was more of a WTF. Like, oh, what okay. the hell is going on? And it's Halloween. But what the hell's going on? Yeah, I, I, I think they're going to get a trick or treat. Probably a trick. Definitely not a treat in prison. They might be the trick. They might be. They might be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's somebody somebody here to see you wearing well, just I'll a mask. I'll make your face look like the mask. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to be making this face in prison. There you go. Are we going to wrap it up? Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.